In today's lecture, I will talk about why it is that you need to start at me business. I will also clarify how it is you should carry out this business. Also, when your partners ask you how they should do this business, all of you should present to them the right advice and explain to them in detail, right? Really? Wow, I don't think I'm needed here today. I'm surprised all of you know this already. I have actually done Atomy for about nine years now. I'm going into my 10th year doing this business. If you just know three simple things in Atomy, this will be a very easy business for you. I'm sure all of you know about these three things. I hope that we can reiterate these three things, both to refresh your and my memory, so that you can explain it well to your partners. What is the first point then? It is the why. Second, it is the what. Third, is the how. If you know these three things, it is very easy. Why are you doing Atomy business? What is pushing you? You need to have a clear dream and goal of why you are doing Atomy. And you refine your dream and goals every month. At the Success Academy, when you write your life scenario, that is why you must be very clear of why you want to do Atomy business. This must be clear if you don't want to give up. If this is clear, then you will not be persuaded by other distractions. You will be able to persevere until the end. That is why the why is very important. The second point, what? In this point, you need to know about what Atomy is about. What kind of company is Atomy? What kind of products are sold here? What does Atomy's marketing plan look like? You must know these things about the company very clearly. I'm sure all of you here today already know about this. Next, if you have a clear goal and a clear dream, and if you already know much about this company, what is the third thing that you must know? It is the how. This deals with how then will you do the business. It is know about the ins and outs of the business. Today I'm going to talk about the why and how of Atomy business. Before I joined Atomy, I was in sales and I was also self-employed. I worked for about 15 years. Do all of you live your lives diligently? Or are you nonchalant about your life? Do you do at me with great passion? Or do you do it complacently? All of you work hard, right? I also worked hard before. For 15 years, I sold clothes, ran a porridge shop, I sold books and even insurance. I worked and lived with great diligence. There was something that was very easy for me in at me. One day, someone who was successful in Atomy told me, don't do Atomy too diligently. I responded, what? Don't do it diligently, do it wisely. When he said this, I couldn't agree more. You've probably heard this too, right? The direction is more important than the speed. You've heard this saying, right? This does not mean that you shouldn't pick up the speed. There is a direction that you must take. There is a point and goal where you must achieve. If you do not pick the right direction, then the harder you work, the further you will go from your goal. You will end up in a totally different direction. So don't try to only be fast and don't try to be only diligent. You must pick the right direction. On top of that, you must also have speed. That is why the why and the how are very important points. I think it was about a year or two years ago. When you're doing at me, time just flies by, right? 
One year is like only yesterday. I have lost a lot of time by now. One day, an imperial master asked, why is it that so many people fail in atomy? When it is a tool that has been so easily laid out for people to succeed. What is the reason? What do you think people who have done this business for three or four years suddenly give up in the middle? This is very sad. What do you think is the reason? So I responded, maybe they don't know the business well enough. Maybe they have no vision. Maybe they are not applying the eight steps to success. I remember telling this to the Imperial Master before. At the time, the Imperial Master told me, we also need the eight core in Atomy. We should have implemented the eight core way before. Why? That is because many people think they are working hard and they think they are doing it the right way. But there is no way to evaluate of how they are doing it right. There was no way to measure whether people were doing it right. You cannot improve something which you cannot measure. Many people actually did not know that they were doing wrong or what they were doing right. People should know which area they should improve on. But the leaders cannot follow each of the contractors. The Imperial Master could not find the reason why people failed. But if this eight core system is implemented, first, they would be able to check themselves. When the sponsor consults their partners, they will know where they went wrong. The Imperial Master said that Atomy should implement the eight core system. I am actually very quick on my feet. When I heard this, I started talking about the eight core. And I told my partners that we should start practicing it. I think this was over a year ago. I have seen many people who have practiced this eight core system and have showed improvements. So I thought the eight core system is truly important for a contractor. When I consult many of my partners, most of the time they say, I work from dawn till dusk with everything I have for Atomy business. My sponsor does not help me out. In fact, I hope they wouldn't disrupt my business. You have no idea how hard I work. Many of them complain during our counseling session. I have sacrificed so much, I don't even see my kids. I can't even take care of my children and my family. This is how hard I work. Why is it that my sponsor doesn't help me? After talking to my partner for some time, I told him, don't work too hard. Do you know what he said? He looked at me with a blank face. The harder you work, the emptier your heart will feel. Don't work hard, but work right. And I remember teaching him how to do it the right way. But ultimately, he would always work hard instead of right. He just worked hard and ultimately quit. That is why it is very important how you do this business. When I talked about the eight core system, there were two responses. The first was, yeah, let's try out the eight core. The second response was, what? Something new again? It's hard enough to practice the eight steps to success. It's hard enough for three months. You want me to do the eight core? What do you want me to do? There are people who respond like this too. You must know why you need to do the eight core system. If you observe successful people, they say that they have a particular habit. In Dale Carnegie's book, he mentions that after observing a lot of successful people, neither of them possessed any special talent, but rather they all shared a common habit. This eight core system is a system of habits for success. If you can make it a habit, success will be easy. You have to walk through the whole process. That doesn't mean you just do the eight core the whole day. You can finish it in a short time. But it must become a habit for you. It must become second nature. 
I am not a brain scientist, but I've read a book once. There is something called a synapse inside our brain. If you repeat an action, then a new pattern will form inside your brain. That is why even if you don't try, certain things are done automatically. For example, when you drive on a familiar road, when you drive to work, you don't think much about driving, right? But let's say one day you're not going to work. Rather, you are going somewhere to a personal appointment. While you zone out, naturally, you will drive to where? You will be driving to your work. This is the power of a habit created by your brain. This is because of the pattern drawn inside the brain. That is why habits don't change overnight. Just because you've heard the eight core today, that doesn't make it easy. It's not easy at all. Why? Because it hasn't become a habit for you yet. That is why in the beginning you need to be deliberate in repeating the desired action. It is important to do it every day. Today's lecture is entitled Everyday Eight Core. It is practicing the eight core actions every day. You must apply it every day. If this habit becomes complete, then you won't have to deliberately think of doing it. Your body will naturally remember what to do. Then you will see that you will be a step closer to your life of success. There are eight things in the eight core. It must be well balanced. Eight action items. What kind of picture of this? It's the same picture as the life scenario, right? I created this myself. You must check eight different tasks. The first is reading. You must read books. Once after hearing this, a person said, I have no time to read. I am too busy working. I am too busy meeting the consumers. I have no time to read books. Have you tried it? Yes, I have. I have done it since I was a beginner. When I was a beginner, I was the only was applied, and I've experienced it from the beginning. Why do you need to read? Why should you read? To get smart? I believe that reading books causes total change. Change. Also, it is growth. Not just your thoughts, but in order for your action to change. You need to read in order for you to change and grow. There's a lot of information in your smartphone, right? All of that is just information that just gives you knowledge. But books have the power to change your heart, your thought, and even your actions. That is why you must read every day so that you can change. I'm not saying you should just read all day. It is important to read every day for 10 minutes, 5 minutes, or 15 minutes, and then increase that time every day. As you meet people, you must persuade them to join this business, right? You must persuade them to use Atomy's products and join this business. However, the best way to persuade others is your own change. People will see the change inside of you, and they will say, what is that to me? How has he changed like that? Wow, his language has changed. His actions have changed. His habits have changed. The biggest weapon to persuade others is your own change and growth. You must read every day. Let me introduce you to a book. Please read Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. You should read this book at least five times. I told you in the beginning that those who are successful all shared a common trait, right? This book states that good relationship with people brought success. This is a book that will show you how to make good relationships with other people. I recommend you also read books about the Fourth Industrial Revolution. I recommend you read self-help books. If you read such books, your language will change. 
and people around you will be surprised. How do you talk like that? You must read every day for your own growth and change. You should check whether you are doing this every day. Second is to watch Atomy videos. By watching Atomy videos, you will get courage and assurance of how to succeed. You will be able to indirectly experience the business. Do you think it's necessary to go through trial and error? You don't if it's already been experienced by your sponsors. That's why you must listen to the lectures of those who had succeeded. Then you can decrease your trial and error. In order to accelerate your rate of success, you should watch Atomy videos every day. You don't have to watch an hour-long video. It can be 20 minutes or 15 minutes. It is important to watch such video every day. Third is to attend meetings. I want to emphasize 100% participation. 100% meeting participation. Why must you participate in the meetings? This place right here is also a meeting. Participating in meetings means to come out and listen to all the lectures and seminars, Success Academy, one-day seminars, and workshops held your center leaders in centers. You should also participate in meetings and seminars held in centers. Why must you participate in such meetings? It is so that you can recharge your passion. It is to strengthen your faith. It will reinforce your why of doing atomy. It is to strengthen your determination. Humans are actually very weak beings. If you don't participate in such meetings just because you have already succeeded, your passion will start to go down. Of course, you won't hesitate anymore whether to do atomy, but your passion of what you must do on a daily basis will slowly decrease. That's how weak humans are. That is why you must come out and recharge your energy. You must receive the energy from other people. Actually, network marketing has a negative image for the public. There is a bias. People outside will continue to say bad things about network marketing. You will experience a lot of rejection and negative comments. But if you come out to these seminars, you will be recharged. Yes, I can do it too. The passion that you will one day succeed that is why you must participate 100% in the meetings so that you can receive energy from others. This is like your passion station where you can recharge. It is a place to receive energy. What do you think is the fourth point? It is to use the products more than just selling the products. I always emphasize to do this 100%. In Add to Me Business, Consumption is not expenses. Consumption equates to your income. When the consumer lets the other people know about the products, your expenses will return as income. Thus, the consumer can be transformed into a contractor. But if you don't use the product yourself, it is very difficult for your consumption to become income. It can't change into your business. You must use the products yourself first. In Atomy, the consumer uses the products first themselves. Then they are able to let others know about that product. Whether it is cheap or good quality, there is the structure of how to expand the business. But if you haven't used the products yourself, how will you boast about the products to other people? What if you boast about the toothbrush, but your friend talks to you about makeup? If you haven't used the makeup product, you won't have much to say, nor can you persuade others. If you're trying to buy a Hyundai car, but the salesman came in his Mercedes, would you be able to trust that person? You will question that person's credibility, right? That is why you must change your household necessities from other stores and brands to Atomy's products. Change your shopping to Atomy. You must love the products and use them. 
You must also check this is whether you are using them every day. Fifth, what do you think it is? It is the company introduction. You must introduce the company to other people. You must introduce about the company at least three times to other people. The reason why you have no contractors to work with is because you do not talk about Atomy's vision. You must tell others to join Atomy business. You don't have to talk big about Atomy and its products and marketing plan. You could talk fancy about these things. But even if you don't talk about it yourself, you should explain why you're doing Atomy business. You should tell others about the dream you want to achieve and how you receive income after having switched to Atomy's products. You should talk about the alternative to a global business. Do you have any solution for the current situation? I have a solution here. Are you planning for your future? I have the solution. Let's do Atomy business together. Or you can say, look into this business. This is what company introduction looks like. It's nothing fancy. Presenting Atomy's vision. This is what it means to introduce about the company. Let's do this business together. It is better if you can do this about three times a week. You need to check whether you are meeting people and presenting Atomy's vision to those whom you meet. Are you telling people they should join you in Atomy business? Next, the sixth point is to build a consumer base. You must build a consumer base. In order to build a consumer base, you must have at least 50 consumers. These 50 people can either be members or non-members. You must continue to manage these people. And you must make them into your fixed consumers. Try building a consumer base of about 50 people. If 50 people are too difficult, try at least 30 people first. Make it your goal to build a consumer base where these people can continue to use Atomy's products. You need to build your consumer base on a daily basis. You need consumers in order for your sales to increase. You need consumers in order for your members to expand. You need consumers in order for you to make money. That is why you must manage your consumer base on a daily basis. You must meet old members and new members as well. You should write down on your notebook the list of 50 members. You should think about what kind of products these people are using and what their response is to the products. You need to build a consumer base this way and manage them. And the seventh point, consultation. Consultation is the direction that I mentioned a while ago. You must go in the right direction so that your efforts will not go in vain. And that is how you will reach the goal that you have set. You need to check and review whether you are going towards the direction that you have set. You need to take the eight core and receive feedback of what you're doing well and what you need to improve. This will help you review your eight core system. You should not complain during the consultations. This is not a time for complaining. My sponsor is so-and-so. My partner is so-and-so. My husband is frustrating. Don't make such complaints. Don't make negative remarks, but rather receive consultation related to the business. You need to receive consultation that is business related. That is the way to do your business in a health manner. That is why you should receive consultation consistently. Those providing consultation don't look down on your partners. Don't criticize or scold others. Imagine if you went to your sponsor for advice and that sponsor scolds you and criticizes you. You won't go to that sponsor again the next time. That is why encouragement is necessary. The sponsor should say, it's okay, it will take some time. Let's do this together. You can do it. And sometimes, though it is not scolding, one needs to be honest. It looks like you do not practice the 
eight-core system. If you do not practice the eight-core system, I won't meet you. I don't know how it is you are doing this business. I don't know which area needs improvement, so please practice the eight core. The sponsor needs to show the will to go together by encouraging their partners to practice the eight core system. Consultation is necessary. The last eighth point is to build trust. When I say this, one of my partners said, I built trust today. I set aside time to drink tea with people. However, this is not what building trust look like. To build trust means to be an example. You will need to be an example to other people so that those people will feel assured to do business with you. You need to be an example to others. You should not lie. If you've made a promise, you should try to keep that promise even if you experience loss. This is what it means to build trust. That is why common sense is very important. Do not make any monetary transactions. Just because you are doing business with your partner does not mean you can just ask to borrow money. I'm receiving my paycheck next week. Can I borrow money? This will totally disrupt your trust with your partners. If the sponsor keeps asking to borrow money, the new contractors will think there is something wrong with Atomy. This will totally break the trust in the company. Never make monetary transactions or borrow money between sponsors and partners. This is what it means to build trust. Don't form illicit relationships within the business. If you have a family at home, you should not look for comfort to other people in the business even though you spend a lot of time with them. If you're not married, then it's okay. That's a healthy relationship. But if a married man or woman shows interest in another member and constantly rides in the same car with them, that is breaking the trust within the company. Keep to sound principles healthy business practices. To build trust is to fully trust in your partners and sponsors. To build trust is to try to deliver the products to the consumers by the promised time. This is how you build trust. You need to check whether you are practicing these eight action items. If you make a monthly checklist and check all the boxes you have done, you will notice that there will be an imbalance. If you see the action items that are natural for you, and the ones that you are not good at doing, you will be able to identify your strengths and weaknesses. This must become a healthy circle. Each area must show healthy marks so that together it can form a wheel shape. If these eight core action items become a habit for you, then it will be very easy for you to succeed. Is there anything difficult here that you can't do? What's the most difficult? What's the hardest? Doing it every day. There is nothing difficult with the tasks in themselves, but it is difficult to keep this every day. Even if you say you can make $10,000 or $50,000 in a month, if your actions don't keep up with your words, what's the use? This is your habit checklist. This is your habit checklist that will help you see your strengths and weaknesses so that you will know what to improve on. This will eventually help you succeed in the long run. That is why it is important to make this checklist, even if you're not able to keep it 100%. It is important to do even just one thing on the list. I hope all of you will succeed by practicing these action items every day. Your current state is the result of your decision three years ago. Three years will pass again. If you are able to make these eight core action items into your habit and practice them every day, you will have become successful in three years. But if you've listened to today's lecture, 
But do not change today and keep putting it off. Then your life three years from now will be the same. I will end my lecture with great hopes that you will succeed through this eight-core system. Thank you.